Hi Aquarius, this is your November love and relationship reading. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so let's see what messages the universe has for you, Aquarius. All right, so the first three cards that came out for you is Divinely Guided. We have competition. I get intimidated and nervous knowing you get so much attention. And we also have freedom. I want the freedom to pursue my own happiness right now. So I see that some of you are dealing with a partner who gets a lot of attention. This could be on social media or this person could be in the public eye. Uh, where you know they get a lot of likes or there's a lot of people wanting to be around them and I feel like this person wants their freedom but they also have a divinely guided connection to you so let's see where this goes let's see what this is because I feel like some of you are dealing with your soulmate but this person may not be ready to settle down right now because they get a lot of attention maybe this person is famous they could be an actor um, or just in the public eye for some reason, possibly on um, social media or YouTube or, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's going on here, but we'll see. Because we have divorce. I'm ending my long-term relationship to be with you. So are you thinking, if, for those of you who are married, if you're thinking about divorcing this person, or maybe someone is married and they're thinking about coming towards you, Aquarius, so let's see. We have gossip. I've heard rumors about you that has been difficult to ignore. So you could have heard something about this person. Someone told you something and you're not sure whether to believe it or not. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? New love. Forgive me, but I found a new love who makes me feel alive. All right. So for some of you, um, everyone's story is going to be different. So keep that in mind. For those of you who are resonating with this reading, I feel like if you're married to this person, you feel like they're slipping away. And it may be because it may be because they found someone new or someone else is giving them a lot of attention right now and that may be bothering you and if this is not you feeling this way, this could be your partner feeling this way about you. So keep that in mind. Someone's found someone new here. And you may feel like uh this person is slipping away from you. So let's see where this goes. Here, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, let them go. Some of you may be waiting for someone to return or come back to you, but they may be dealing with someone else right now. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Double life. I'm living a double life and I'm a different person in each. So yeah, some of you could be married to this person and they're sneaking off to deal with someone else or this could be you Aquarius and you're sneaking off to deal with someone else so flip and reverse the roles as need be we have unintentional I never meant to hurt you I'm not who you think I am we also have commitment when I think about my future I see you all right now so this is what I'm getting out of this situation I don't feel like this is over between you and this person. I'm just going to lower my camera just a little bit so you guys can see the cards a little better. I don't feel like this is over between you and this person. But what I do see is that there may be a separation where um, this person has pulled back from you. They became distant. They went towards someone else. Whatever this is for them, if it's new, it may not last. I feel like they've met someone else online that's given them attention doesn't have to be online for everyone but for some of you it definitely is your person met someone online or you met someone online and they're giving you attention and you like it you feel like this person is exciting and they're not boring the person that you're dealing with could be boring dating yeah i'm back into the dating scene and making the effort to move on like you can't make this up not even if i wanted to i feel like some of you are moving away from your person but it's temporary or your person moved away from you and it's temporary because you guys are going through something and they may be out there dating looking thinking that they can replace you but um i don't know if that's gonna happen though because we have commitment when i think about my future i see you so i feel like your person may go in search of something else and may be disappointed in the long run 
Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yeah, look at that. Desperate. I need answers. Talk to me. I'm going mad trying to understand. So this is you feeling this way about your person or this is them feeling this way about you. Maybe they wanted to talk to you. Maybe you're holding off, um, holding off or holding out on them, not speaking to them because they did something to you. Maybe you found something out and you're holding back from this person. And so they're like, oh, okay, well, I'm going to go and see what else is out there. But I don't know. I feel like this person's going to be disappointed. I really do. I don't feel like whatever they're searching for, they're going to find it. We have only you. I'm not seeing anyone else if that's what you're wondering. This person could be telling you this, but they're lying. If they're telling you this, they're lying. Because it's coming out here. I feel like they don't want you to walk away while they're in search of seeing who else is out there. So they're going to tell you. So if you're asking this person, why haven't you called me? Why aren't you talking to me? Whatever it is between the two of you. And they're saying, I'm not seeing anyone else. If that's what you're wondering, they may not be taking anyone serious, but they're definitely seeing other people or another person. But I feel like you already know that. For those of you that are resonating with this, I feel like you already know it. And I feel like the reason why you know it, Aquarius, is because this person doesn't communicate with you like they used to. Um, when you text them, they don't text you back. At night, when you're uh, like wanting to talk to this person, you can't get in contact with them. We have fighting it. The harder I try to resist you, the weaker I seem to be. And then we have self-pleasure. I pleasure myself to your pictures. I have secretly saved on my phone. We also have take it slow. So I feel like the universe is telling this person, don't jump into anything. Don't rush. And then we have control. I'm trying to control the situation to avoid having it control me. So some of you pulled back from this person on purpose because you're tired of whatever it is that this person is taking you through. And you're thinking like, you know what, if I pull back from them, then things will change. And I feel like things are going to change, but the universe is saying... Trust the guidance in this situation. You're being guided. Um, and the universe, is do they like don't want you to rush this situation. They want you to let it unfold naturally. Like don't try to do anything um, drastic that you may be sorry for. We have missing you. I never missed anyone in my life as much as I miss you. I feel like someone is missing you, but they're not telling you. They're trying to hold out. They're being stubborn and they're being narcissistic thinking like you know what if I hold out he or she is going to come running towards me but this person really miss you so if you're not talking to your person right now they miss you and I feel like they're trying to buy the time by um dealing with other people but I don't know if it's working because we have haunted I'm haunted by my decisions and the memories we made together yeah don't let this person fool you Aquarius <laughs> don't let them fool you they miss you they do but it's like they don't want to rush back in right now because first of all I feel like some of you want this person to explain themselves they did something to you or you found something out or something is just not right here so I feel like you had an argument for some of you, you may have had an argument with your person and you're not talking to them right now but this person still sees you in their future. I feel like they have not given up on this. But while you guys are on separation, this person is definitely talking to other people. And I feel like for the majority of you that are picking up um, this energy for that's resonating, this person could be talking to other people online. All right. So let's see. I feel like, um, I don't know whose message this is specifically, but some of you are pregnant by someone or you're, you think you're pregnant. And you're wondering if you want to keep it or not. Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? What messages do you have for Aquarius? Mm. Look at that. Seven of Swords. This person is being sneaky. They're sneaking away from you to deal with someone else. I feel like this person is trying to let things calm down. Or they're like, you know what? If he or she is mad at me right now, I'm going to wait it out. And then I'll contact them. When I think the coast is clear or um, when I think they're not mad anymore. Some of you could be dealing with another air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Yeah, this person's still watching you. Didn't I say they're waiting for things to clear the air or they're waiting for things to calm down before they rush in? Because we have the Knight of Swords here, Page of Swords. 
If you think that your person has let this go and that things are over and done just because you guys aren't speaking, mm -mm. I think that's what I'm going to title this reading. Just because you guys aren't speaking, don't think it's done. <laughs> like, because it's not. It's not done, Aquarius. Um, some of you definitely could be dealing with an air sign, another air sign, a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. Or you're up in your head about the situation because swords is um, the mental thought process. It's also communication. What messages, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Oh, this card slid all the way across the table. Some of you may be married to this person with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You have a family with them and things aren't going right with this family. The Ten of Pentacles is in reverse here. It could be an earth sign for some of you as well. A Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. Page of Cups in reverse. So no love is being offered right now, but there is still love between the two of you. Yeah, what messages? What messages? I feel like both of you guys are sort of stuck on if you want to offer love again to the other person. I feel like you both are holding back from each other. Spirit, so what messages do you have for Aquarius? Yep, Nine of Swords. You're in your head about the situation but the funny thing is i feel like your person is too and they're just not showing it nine of swords is worry fear anxiety you may be feeling like something is over we're never going to be able to fix this we're never coming back together i might as well just give up on this i don't even know if i can if i do will i be okay will i meet someone else i feel like you're just questioning a lot of things right now aquarius and I feel like the reason why you're questioning a lot of things is because you have a family with this person, with the Ten of Pentacles. Some of you do, not all of you. So there's children involved. It's like splitting up assets. It's going to be hard. It's not going to be easy. You're thinking, if I walk away from this situation, a lot's going to happen here. Will I be okay? Spirit, what messages do you have for Aquarius? Mm. <laughs> this person still loves you. You guys have the Ten of Cups. They want emotional fulfillment with you. But I feel like both of you guys have to stop being stubborn with each other. Someone has to open up. Okay, someone has to open up and talk about their feelings. Some of you could be dealing with a water sign, a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. And neither one of you are willing to open up about your feelings. But there's, I feel like there's love here on both sides. Yeah, we have the Six of Pentacles. So you're looking for an equal give and take, and you feel like you're not getting that. Okay, what was this that wanted to pop out? Wheel of Fortune. So there is a turning point that's coming. There is a change that's coming. I feel like you and this person is going to definitely come back together. Um, I'm also picking up communication that's coming in. I don't know why I'm picking that up. I haven't... I haven't saw the, um, I mean, well, I did see the page of swords. So that could be why I'm picking up on communication that's coming in. This person's keeping their eye on you. I was looking for the eight of wands, but it didn't come out yet. So we'll see. So what messages? Do... Okay. The Empress. I feel like this person knows. Now, I did speak of someone being pregnant here. So this could be for some of you um, that you're pregnant by this person. You're wondering if you're going to keep it. Um, but if not, I feel like this person knows your worth. And they're thinking like, if they end things with you, they're not going to find anyone else like you. They don't even want to end things with you. I feel like this person's holding back because they're stubborn. They don't know what to say. They know they screwed up. There's something that you want to talk to them about. There's things here that you want to make right. I'm also picking up the energy that for some of you, you're in a better, a better fight. Look at that. I talked this shit up. You're in a better financial situation than your person is. Um, I just said like a few seconds ago that I didn't see the eight of wands yet, but I felt communication coming in. Also, some of you could be dealing with a fire sign in Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, and you feel like you don't know what to do about the situation because you're in a better financial situation than your person is. And you're like, do I wait around for them to get themselves together? I feel like you you want to wait around for this person, but you don't know if you should. There's something here with money. I don't know why. Maybe it's because of the Six of Pentacles. 
and the Ten of Pentacles where you're an Empress status, male or female energy. The cards are not gender-based, okay? But your person isn't and you're waiting for them to get their shit together. For some of you, this person could live at a distance. You could um, have met them online. They could live in another state, country, another city. You may have to travel to see them with that Eight of Wands energy. I'm also picking up communication coming in out of the blue. Yeah. This person is not ready to walk away. We have Six of Swords reverse and Eight of Swords reverse. This card sort of came out sideways and then like slid around. Don't know what that means. Maybe this person stated that they were walking away. Maybe someone was like, you know what? I'm done. I don't want to deal with this anymore. And then they changed their mind with the Eight of Cups reverse and the Six of Swords reverse. All right, so let's pull a couple more. Mm, page of Wands. Some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. If not, there is communication coming in without a doubt. You will be talking to this person. They will be reaching out to you. For some of you, I feel like you live with this person, though. I feel like you guys live together, but the communication is just, like, non-existent. So it's like you guys may talk when it's necessary, and then it's like you don't say anything to this person they don't say anything to you you guys are going about your day and you only talk when it's necessary but i feel like that's going to change um and if you don't live with this person i see communication coming in a message something a phone call them reaching out to you on social media however you communicate with this person communication is coming in yeah yeah, definitely because there's conflict here and somebody wants to clear the air it's either you or your person or both of you you have the page of wands page of swords some of you could be dealing with a younger fire sign or a younger air sign a libra gemini or an aquarius um and then i see communication wanting to to come in i feel like both of you guys like i said are being stubborn with each other but i see it coming in and what it's going to do is it's going to clear this conflict because there's some conflict or competition. Maybe think, let's pull one more. Let's see why this five of wands came out. Spirit, why is this five of wands here for Aquarius? Why is this five of wands here? Why is the five of wands here? Mm. Two of pentacles. All right, that's not giving me much clarity. So I need to go again. Spirit, why is this five of wands and two of pentacles here? for Aquarius. Why is this five of wands and the two of pentacles here? There it is. The three of pentacles. Someone wants to compromise with you. So there is conflict between you and this person and they're in their head. You know, they're juggling like, should I say something? Should I talk to Aquarius? Or this could be you, Aquarius. Okay. Wondering if you should talk to your person, if you should reach out. And there will be communication coming in. Um, you guys are going to want to compromise with each other and work things out with the three of pentacles. Okay. Now, if this is about a third party situation. I feel like this is why you weren't talking to this person to begin with because you don't trust them and you want something cleared up and you want to know where things are headed. And I feel like you're going to get this conversation. You're going to definitely get this communication from this person. Okay. So those are the messages that I have for your love and relationship reading. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lie Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.